How does concrete slump work? <laughs> concrete slump is the way in which we measure the viscosity of a concrete mix. If I need a really wet mix for the particular placement application that I'm doing, and I called the ready mix supplier and said, Hey, Tony, I need some concrete tomorrow. Make it really wet. And he's like, no problem, really wet. He brings it and it's like super dry compared to what I needed. And I'm like, no, I said really wet. He's like, I thought this is what you meant. This is how we communicate that unit of measurement from, you know, the people finishing it to the ready mix suppliers and the truck drivers. So slump is just as it sounds. You're gonna take concrete and you make a pylon, you fill a cone with concrete. You remove the cone. If the concrete does not move at all, that concrete has zero slump. If the concrete moves one inch, like it literally slumps one inch from that original cone shape, that is a one inch slump concrete. Two inch equals two inch, so on and so forth. So if I asked you for a six inch slump, well, that means Tony should be showing up with some really wet concrete, something that if you fill the cone and you took the cone away, I mean, it just, you lose six inches of height. That's a really wet concrete. And that would be exactly what I'm looking for. It's worth noting that with the viscosity of concrete, you can't just add more water. That's not how it works. Water when added in, ex in excess, compromises the finished strength of concrete by quite a lot, actually. When you need to achieve a thinner viscosity for your concrete, you want to use super plasticizer or water reducer. Very common from ready mix suppliers or prof professional concrete batch plants, not very common for the average at home user of concrete. The local hardware store probably doesn't have any water reducer. It's something that you would have to go to an admixture store or a concrete specialty supplier, perhaps the internet, something like that. A little goes a long way. A one kilogram bag would probably last you a few years of pretty regular at home, do it yourself concrete casting work. Um, but for the average person, all you need to know for slump is that the higher the slump number, the wetter the concrete is. I hope you found this information helpful.